Welcome to this segment of the Get It Integrative Arts Tai Chi program. Now you've already watched lesson number one, Tai Chi Concepts, Theories, and Principles. In this lesson we're going to introduce you to the five organ Qigong set. Now Tai Chi is made up of Qigong and Tao Yin exercises. The Qigong is the actual energy work that we do. The Tao Yin is the concept of getting our body to move softly and fluidly. When we link those together, then we have the Tai Chi. The essentials that we're going to be teaching you in the next five to six video segments or lessons on the Qigong sets, when you take those and you put those together in different movements or, or patterns, you then have the Tai Chi forms. Now in this segment we're going to start off by teaching you the pictogram or ideogram for Qigong. Now it's important to realize that I am not an expert at pictograms and or ideograms, and so if you'd like to do these professionally or classically, you should go ahead and uh, look that up on your own. The pictogram for Qi is not the same as it is in Tai Chi. Again, as in Qi, Tai Chi, it was a person standing between the sky and the earth, carving out their world with their actions and their words. And that translates as energy. The pictogram in Qi Gung, again, the word is the same, but, and it still means energy, but the picture is different. The picture as in Qi, Gung is a grain of rice that's being cooked and steam is coming up. So the concept of the movements is as we do the movements, our body will become softer and more pliable. Uh, when we start off, we're sort of like that grain of rice that's uncooked. We don't produce a natural harmony uh, with the people we come into contact with. We sort of bounce off. We're hard. As we start to do the movement, again, we start to soften. The energy flows through our body more smoothly, and we become more palatable to those around us. The gung, also we see that sometimes as in, uh, translated with a K, as in kung, kung fu or gung fu, this translates as work, powerful work. It's a person standing sideways, holding something heavy. So if you imagine just a person standing sideways, holding something very heavy, it takes a powerful person to do that. And next to it we have a flat I, which represents a construction block, and that stands for building something. So it's powerful work. So Qi Gung translates simply into energy work. But again, the pictures are to get our body to be softer and more fluid so we become more uh, palatable and useful to those around us. And the Gung powerful work builds a powerful body. So as you do these sets, the five organ set and all the other sets that we'll be teaching you, it's important to keep this concept of Qigong in mind. You want to make sure you never force the movements, that you relax, and you let the body slowly open and expand. And we'll talk about that more as we do the various movements as we move forward. Now with each series of exercises we do, we want to be clear on what the goal is so we get it together. The goal of the five organ set is to open up the space in the body where our primary organs are, our lungs, kidneys, liver, heart, and stomach. And we, give the, we take that so the muscles in that area expand, so we have more space around those organs, so the blood flows through there more smoothly, efficiently, and effectively. The first exercise is for the lungs. We start with our feet together or, or shoulders apart. Joints are slightly bent. We let our hands lift up. As we breathe in, we're going to let our hands come to the side. As they get even with the shoulders, we're going to let the thumbs turn over. And again, we continue to breathe in. We're expanding the lungs from the front. We're leaning back just slightly, so we open up the whole front chest area a little bit better. Even though we're working the rotators in the shoulders, again, the primary goal is for the lungs. And as we breathe out, the hands come forward and back. As I come forward and back, I want to let my back expand. I want the muscles to come off the back. Again, to give my lungs more space in the rear position as well. So again, we breathe in through the nose and breathe out through the mouth. The movements are very smooth and even. And breathe out. Again, your muscles are continuous tension members. That means they put continuous tension on the body. In Tai Chi, our goal is to let the muscles stretch out, relax, and open so they move more effectively 
and efficiently. If you find an area of the body that is extremely tight, then you can take the hands to that position and hold it and just really breathe, expand, and relax. You know, they may be extremely tight in this position. Again, you breathe, expand, and relax to try to get tension to come out of the body and to move more efficiently and effectively. Again, even though Tai Chi is done very slowly, once you find where the muscles are tight, you can start letting the muscles move very quickly as well. So it's not wrong to do the movements at a quicker pace, as long as you're not forcing the movements. It's just that we have, can have a tendency to throw the arm too far, and that's when we end up tearing muscle. So by doing it slowly, we find where those parameters of the muscle is. Now we can also, we were breathing in here at this position, and we breathe out here. We can also breathe in here. As we do that, our back expands more, and then we breathe out as the hands come open. We breathe in, and we breathe out. Again, the knees just stay slightly bent. With this set of exercises, you may start with three or nine or 20, just really based on what your physical condition is. You can actually take an exercise like this and somebody who's in a very uh, poor state and have them just do the movement very small, again, because the goal is to expand and contract the lungs. So again, you do it in terms of your range of motion. You never force anything in Tai Chi. When we finish, we bring the hands down and we relax. We take a deep breath. We go into the Thai posture, which is stretching out our arms, opening wide the heart, getting the space around here to open. Deep breath, and then let the breath go from the top of the head into our feet. The harmonizing movement we do at the end of each exercise can be big, or it can be small. It all depends upon how much pressure you feel in the body. After we finish that, we can also do swaying tree. Again, the feet are rooted, feet point straight ahead, and we let our arms just gently swing from side to side. You should feel this in the ankles. It rotates the ankles. It also rotates the knees, the hips, the spine. The head can stay forward, or we can actually let the head go with it as well. And again, try different movements. Again, the goal of Tai Chi is to get more space in your body, to allow your body to expand and open so that your blood, your circulatory system moves more efficiently. And again, with this exercise, we want more space in the lungs. Movement number two in the five organ set is for the kidneys. Now, it's important to note that as we do this exercise, we're going to start it from the rear position. We can start with the left hand or the right hand. I'm going to start with the right hand and place it on my left kidney. Uh, it's interesting to note that the adrenal glands are on top of the kidneys. As we start this exercise again, the feet point straight ahead. We breathe in and we bring our left hand around as we're gathering. We bring the hand up and we expand the area of the kidney as we reach up to the sky. The hand turns and then we bring the hand palm out toward the side as the kidney compresses. You can see the knees gently sink and rise, and they rotate. We breathe in, and we breathe out. Again, the kidney expands that area, and it compresses. We breathe in, let the fingers turn, and breathe out. We can keep the thumb relaxed, or we can bring the thumb in closer to the hand. And it should still be relaxed, but you may find a little more tension in that position. Most people find the thumb just letting it relax nicely initially is good. Again, you want to do nine to ten of these. You can turn the waist more to the side, but again, you want your feet straight, and you want the feet flat on the ground. You then switch hands, putting the left hand on the right kidney. Bring the right hand up. Turning and coming down. Again, breathing in and breathing out. We can keep our legs a little straighter if we want, working more just the upper body. We can also do the exercise with less turn of the upper body. Again, the main function, the main goal is to expand and contract the area of the kidney. If I can't reach up very high and stretch out this whole area, that's okay because I can focus the movement again here 
And again, with your hand on your kidney, you can feel it expand and contract. This is an outward circle we're drawing with the arms. So it's important to note that you can always adapt the technique to fit your situation. Again, my left hand's on my kidney. You can mirror me as I do this exercise. Again, you can see the toes pointing straight ahead. Here we breathe in. You can let your eyes follow the hands. Or you can focus the eyes and just gaze and focus on the kidney itself, expanding and contracting to get more space so everything can move more fluidly through that area. Again, you can see you can do anywhere from 3 to 20 movements. And again, you can build up to more than that. The important thing is when you begin an exercise program or as you do these exercises, that you don't do too much too soon or too fast. A lot of people do the Tai Chi exercises and then they tell me the next day they can't believe how sore they were because it didn't really feel like they were doing anything. But again, we're stretching those muscles out. We're also coming in to employ the tendon and ligament, getting that to stretch and relax as well. I'm going to show you another variation of that. We're going to alternate the hand every time. So I do my right hand. I bring it behind the back. I do my left hand. I bring it behind the back. You can see my other hand, my wrist is soft. This is called fair lady's wrist or tai chi wrist. You can see the wrist is soft, comes down. When we alternate, we can also bring the lead with the fingertips forward. Again, the first rule of Tai Chi is don't be overly concerned with form or the way in which form manifests itself. Pay attention to the energy. Now, I've brought both hands behind my back. Get a deep breath. And harmonize. Again, let the breath go down into the feet. So directing the mind, the body, or the breath through the body is very essential in the Tai Chi process that so we're learning to focus our breath, learn to expand the areas of the body that this organ set is working on. And again, the concept of the organ set, if you take a, a pool of stagnant water, nasty things grow on there. So we're trying to get this space in these areas of the body so things can flow through and then disease doesn't just sit there and hang there, it can flow out instead of, again, more and more nasty things growing. So, so far again, we've done the lung. You may want to review, review that and then review the kidney before we go on to the next movement. Now, this next organ is the liver. And this set, really the exercise, uh, even though we're going to be using our hands, the real movement takes place in this area. We want to breathe in and expand this area. And we want to breathe out and let the area contract. Again, we want to breathe in. Let this whole area expand. And we want to breathe out and let the area contract. At the same time, if you watch this from the side position, as we breathe in, my body lengthens. As we breathe out, my hips go back, lining up with my ankles. And I want my lower back to straighten. Even though it feels like we're thinking in terms of a round back, the back actually straightens. When I'm standing here, my actual back is curved. If you put your hand on your lower back, you'll feel that. And when you sit and let your hips go back, then it actually straightens in the lower back. Again, feet point straight ahead. They're about shoulder apart. We start with the left hand or the right hand on top. Again, we breathe in and expand that area. We're holding a ball here in front of us, and we breathe out. The left hand goes forward. The right hand comes back to the side. Again, we breathe in. We're holding a ball here in front of the body. We turn the ball over, and then we breathe out. The hand that is out, the fingers are, or the palm is down. Again, we want to keep the shoulder relaxed, the elbow slightly bent, the wrist relaxed. Everything, again, is relaxed because the muscles will provide a natural tension. We want to be pushing the feet into the floor, and the feet want to be flat on the floor. Again, we breathe in as we expand and rise, turning the ball over. We breathe out, and we relax. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. For right now, you can breathe in through the nose and breathe out.
through the mouth. Breathe in through the nose. Breathe out through the mouth. Make the movements. As you start to get the movement, you can see I'm not stopping in the center as I turn the ball. Initially, you can stop, turn the ball, then go out. But your movements eventually want to become very smooth and continuous. In Tai Chi, sometimes they call it reeling silk. You want to just feel very smooth. Everything's very gentle. Again, you can defocus the eyes by gazing at something in the distance. You want to put your awareness into different movements. Again, you focus on your form and your structure. Then your focus can go to the liver, to that area. Breathing in the good air, pushing out the bad air. Again, relaxing. And as you relax, that doesn't mean that you're not going to feel tension because there's still going to be a lot of natural tension in the body. You can actually hold a position if you'd like. And again, and breathe in. As you breathe out, relax some more, and you'll feel more pressure in the body. Again, breathe in. Breathe out. Hold the other side. Breathe in. Relax. And again, you can do anywhere from 3 to 9 to 20 reps. When you finish, stretch out the arms. Take a deep breath. Think in terms of your arms growing longer out the spine. And again, Depending on the amount of pressure, do it high, middle, or low, breathe out, and then again add swaying tree into the movement just to, again, release the pressure in the body. After you've done that, you can also bring your feet closer together and you can roll the hips. The hips is the largest joint in the body. And when you roll the hip, if you do it slowly, you'll feel it working your ankles, your knees, of course your hip your back, your shoulders, everything will work together because the big gear, like the big gear of a clock, is turning and it's moving all the outer gears as well. So we want to disconnect the body in terms of the areas that are working. At the same time, we want to reconnect it so it all works together as well through the exercises. Okay, exercise number four. Before you move into it, again, you might want to review the lungs and the kidney and the liver. Exercise number four is for the heart. And in this movement, we're going to show you this again from the front and the back. We start by holding a ball in front of the body. We use the concept of holding the balls a lot in Tai Chi. Again, the feet point straight ahead. I'm going to go to my left side first. I'm going to bring my left hand up as if I'm putting my hand on the ceiling. And I'm going to turn my waist, keeping the feet pointing straight ahead. I'm going to take my right hand and place it out as if I was placing it on the heart of somebody out here with my fingers pointing up in the air. I can have my legs straight, but again, I want my knees slightly bent, or I can have the knees bent more. You can try both exercises, both ways, to see which one helps you the best. We bring the hands down. You can see I've got the ball in the center. My right hand now goes up, my waist is turning, and my left hand goes out. My feet, you might find this side foot on the right wanting to come up, but you want to keep that foot flat on the ground. You don't want your arms in here, you want to stretch those out. We want to open up this whole area of the body, the brachial plexus in through here. In acupuncture, the heart meridian runs from the little finger into the armpit or from the armpit into the little finger based on how you want to look at it. Again, we breathe in and we breathe out. Breathe in, breathe out. Again, make your movements very gentle and smooth. You can hold a position again, you take a deep breath. And breathe out and relax. Let the arms lengthen and open. Keep your fingers relaxed. So you don't want tension. You'll find a lot of times tension creeps into the body in different places. So take kind of a, a mental count and kind of look at your fingers. You might wriggle, wiggle your fingers a little bit to get rid of the tension there. Again, when you count these, you count one, 
one, like that. And again, we want to do anywhere from three to nine to 20 exercise movements, both sides initially, just based again on your state of health. If we were doing these martially, we would do these up to 40, 50 times. Okay, we're also doing it from the rear position as well. Again, feet point straight ahead, we hold the ball. We turn to our left. We let the hands relax. Get that ball in your hands as soon as you can. And turn towards your right. Again, come down to the left. And come down to the right. This movement always makes me think of the pirate ship of the fair that goes up and back. You want to be aware of the different pulleys in your body that are working to keep your body moving effectively and efficiently. If you find any particular tight spots, again, that's where you want to hold. And you can actually let your body just kind of vibrate gently to kind of loosen and soften that area. Using your will and your intent are very important in the art of Tai Chi because our will, again, and our intent helps to focus our breath and what we want to create and achieve in the body. And through the art of Tai Chi, we want to systematically build the body and to make it or help it to run more effectively and efficiently wherever it has any challenges and to make our structure be able to handle more pressure in every aspect of our life. The last exercise in the five organ set is the stomach. The stomach is an interesting organ because when you don't eat, of course, you become less and less connected to the earth. We want to make sure the stomach, again, expands and contracts just like we did with all the other organs. And also one of the side benefits of the stomach exercise is, of course, also works our intestinal tract as well. With this one, we're going to start off from the rear position. And we're going to hold this ball again, palms facing each other. We're going to turn towards our right, letting the elbow lead. Once we get our hand directly between our feet, or if you can't go that far, that's fine. If you can only go to here, again, only go as far as you can go, but you want to eventually get back to here. You just don't want to force it. Our right hand is going to go down, because we turn to the right. My fingers are pointing behind me, and my left hand is going to go up, and my fingers are pointing the same direction as my right hand. Palms are now facing in opposite directions. I crunch my stomach on my right side, and I open it on the left side, and I want to look down, and I have breathed out in that position. I then let my hands or my palms face each other. I can pretend I'm holding a big submarine sandwich if I want. I then let it shrink, turning to my left side. And then again, my left hand goes down, and my right hand goes up. Again, I want to make sure my fingers are pointing toward the back, same direction my left hand. Palms are facing opposite directions. Again, I breathe in. And I breathe out. I breathe in. And I breathe out. Again, the movements want to be very gentle and smooth. You can see I can expand my legs, but the main focus again is in the stomach. I want to. Let the stomach expand on one side, contract on the other side. And again, we count these just like before. One and one, two and two, three and three. After you get each exercise, and do it a few times, what you might do is turn off the tape or just stop your web activity for a moment. Try it on your own and then go back and watch this segment again. That way if you have questions, you can write, email us, or contact us. Again, the goal of all these segments is to build your knowledge and your power and your center or your inner harmony. Go we come back to the center, we breathe in, harmonize. We'll also show that to you from the front as well. Again, whenever we let the hands come up, we let the hands just sort of gently come up. We rotate, letting the elbow lead, and then we breathe out and split. 
Again, you can see the movements are relaxed and smooth. Even though we're working the stomach, again, everything in the body is interconnected. So anything we do will affect everything else. And so we want to feel how it affects our knees, how it affects our ankles, how it affects our hips. So we want to be cognizant of that entire interconnectedness of the body. Can we come back to center? You can stand here and just relax for a little while. Again, watch the breath. You can expand the whole body and let it contract sort of like a balloon. And then again, the hands come down. We breathe in, stretch out the arms, take a deep breath, and harmonize. Again, end with your swaying tree at the end of each movement. Or you can end with rolling the hips. Your body will tell you where it's tight and where it wants to loosen up. You might end with two or three harmonizing movements. You always want to, if your breath and heart rate is elevated through the exercise, you want it to slow back down. Again, aerobic activity, we get the heart rate up and we maintain it. But there's no pressure, no stress. We should never be talking with a labored breath. Aerobic activity, which we do not want to achieve through Tai Chi at all, is where our breath gets up to the point where we're having to gasp as we talk. Uh, so again, everything in Tai Chi is a low impact aerobic activity where again we can raise our heart rate, elevate our heart rate, but then we can maintain it so it's moving effectively and efficiently. Again, the five organ set, we have the lungs for a quick review. We have the kidneys. We have the liver. We have the heart. And we have the stomach. Make sure you get these sets down or get this set down pretty well, pretty comfortable with it before you move into the next lesson in the Get an Integrative Arts Tai Chi program.